What's going on guys, it's Grim Faded Gamer here, and today I'm going to be showing you something super awesome. And that is how to glitch inside the Wrath of the Machine raid and loot all the chests. So obviously you're just going to want to start the raid on Earth. What is required? You will need a sword and bones of EO, AO, whatever you want to call them. And obviously you have to be a hunter. I'm sure a titan or even a warlock could do this, but I did it as a hunter. So when you get up here, you're going to jump back, jump up, and slice your sword to get in there. Once you're in there, you're going to want to jump from here to this little middle thing. Then get up onto this. And then onto this little corner here. It is a little bit difficult. Once you're here, jump to the box directly above you. Then you're going to want to cross and jump over on this little box that I'm standing on now. And then jump up here. I did it kind of an odd way, but you should have to slash your sword. My guardian just so happened to jump off the wall. After you reach here, walk forward a little bit, and then jump over this edge here, and slash your sword until you get to the top. And I recommend that you have sword ammo for all of this, because if you don't, it's gonna take you forever like it took me. So let me speed through this. Now once you get up here, just follow me and jump up to the wall on your left. You don't have to, you can just jump straight up onto the right wall, but do go on the right wall here and then there will be an invisible wall right there. Slowly walk down it and slide down it and then get into that crack there and then slash your way up like you did on the first one. Again, sword ammo is important. After you get up there, there will be a little ridge in the wall. I'm sure you you just saw it. But you'll want to jump at an angle like that. And you'll touch this little thing here, and here you go. Now then. Jump onto this little ledge here, and then jump up. Look at this view. It's amazing. So, run across at this exact spot here. Jump down, sword swing, into splicers, done. Now you're going to need to die for this part and it will spawn you inside the raid. So now backtrack a little bit to get the first chest. And then get the second chest.
and now you have to go to orbit as you cannot go any further on this part. Now jump exactly where I do on this next part. If you miss and mess up, you might have to go back to orbit. I even messed up a tiny bit, but it can be redeemed. So, if you ended up here, jump where I jump. And now go this way and just follow my path. Now when you're here, you just want to jump to the left side, the wall will push you anyway. Just jump, it'll say loading, and then you will die. Once you've respawned, you'll be at the Death Zamboni area. Backtrack a little bit to get the chests. Once you've gotten these two chests, go ahead and make your way back to the Death Zamboni area.
Now this does take a long time to cross, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up till we reach the end here. Jump off as usual. And yes, if you slash your sword, you will not take fall damage. That is a trick I learned a long, long time ago. So do this little jumping puzzle here, and inside will be the last chest that you can get. And that, my friends, was the glitch. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Destiny content, among other things. And this has been Grim Faded Gamer, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.